Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is an HTX video where we are going to look at aileron differential and how to set that up. Now you will need to have a servo for each of your ailerons at each wing for this to be able to work. And the reason we do this is we make the lowering aileron go down less in proportion to the up. Now this helps to cause less drag. So let's switch over to companion and I'll go through the settings there and then we'll have a look on the radio. Okay, I've got the basic model open. So let's go to the flight modes and you can see I've set up the global variables here at 60, 30 and minus 100. Now we need the global variable three so that this will work. Um, but the actual global variables are the 60 and the 70. Now you can uh, play around with these uh, numbers uh, when you're flying to be able to find out how you wh wh which best suits your aeroplane now the inputs are standard but if we go to mixes you see we've got two ailerons now we've got channel one and we've got uh, channel five so you can see there's quite a bit of work we need to do here to set this up but let's just go we're going to go through just one of the ailerons because the other one is a reflection of the first aileron except you'll notice the, the differential is, is plus 100 on this one minus 100 there now this you'll have to um, change it may be maybe channel one would be minus and that would be depending on the orientation of the servos within your wings let's take a look at the first line our source is input aileron our weight is zero our offset is zero and our curve is 100 and i'm using switch sc for this so in the forward position this will mean we have no differential now later on you could go and change this to be permanently fixed uh, into the mixes without having a switch i've done this so that you could turn it off and on uh, in the air so when you're testing so everything else will be normal as standard and we're going to go on to the line we needed to add now the first line we needed to add is input aileron our weight is global variable now this is global variable one now what we can do we we, we we don't need to use global variables if we don't want to we can go in here and put the uh, weight in manually but it's so much easier to do it with global variables because you can pop in there change it and it will change it across all of your mixes okay so we've got there we've got global variable one as i said offset zero our curve is 100 so here you can see we've got switch SC and this will be our first differential rate that we were going to use. Now we go, okay, we go to our second line we needed to add. The source is uh, input aileron. Our weight is global variable, global variable two. Our offset is zero. Our curve is 100 and switch SC in the back position. Okay, now we are gonna go to our final line. Now we need this line for this to be able to work. So we go source is uh, input aileron. Our weight is global variable three. Our offset is zero. Our, globe, our curve is zero. And we do not select a switch this time. Now you need to repeat this for the second servo. And as I said earlier, the only difference could be that you would have to have a minus or a plus weight. So you can just copy this over and you're ready to go. So let's go and demonstrate this, shall we? We're gonna simulate it. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to do the channel monitors. So we've got our, let's put our switch SC off. So if we watch our aileron channels, one and five, you see they're both moving fully. If I put it, this switch SC in the middle position, you'll see now we've got the differential coming 40% on the down. And then if we click our switch to full, and then you can now we've got 30% differential. So there we go, we've demonstrated the aileron differential. Now let's switch over to the radio and I'll quickly go through the settings on the radio for you. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. So we're gonna go into our model settings and we're gonna go across to mixes and I'll just quickly go through each of the lines. So let's edit. You can see on our First line we've got input is aileron, weight is zero, offset is zero, our curve is 100% and we've got switch SC in the forward position. Okay, then we're going to go down to our next line. We've got our sources aileron input, we've got global variable one, we've got offset zero, 
I've got a curve at 100% and our switch should be SC in the middle position. And I'm going to go to our second inputted line is aileron input, global variable 2, offset 0 and curve 0 and I'll switch SC in the back position. Now we need to put our last line in which we have using uh, sources aileron input. We've got global variable 3, offset 0 and the curve is 0 and then we go down to the switch. We don't use the switch. We don't need to use the switch. So and then we go down to our, our fifth channel channel 5 which we use for our second aileron servo and we will just duplicate what we put in the in the first servo. Now let me go to the global variables and you can see we've got global variable 160, global variable 270 and global variable 3 minus 100. Now we must remember so that there are multiple ways of programming OpenTX and EdgeTX so this is just the way I came up with this but let's come out let's tap our screen and let's bring up our channel monitors and then let's give this a go. You can see we've got our full aileron throw. Click the switch into the middle position. You can see now we're getting 40 on the down. Click again and we'll get 30 on the down and there we go. Well, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.